I think I showed you this in class, how to make a, a title screen for a game, but uh, we'll try it again here. Take the stage and give it some background. A canyon. So this is a normal context for the game. So um, first of all, we want our cat to be moving, because why not? Same way as always, we just make him change costumes and wait a little bit. Here he goes, he's running. Now, what I want is for um, there to be another screen, a title screen. So I'll add a new costume and I will just um, use some text here and say, welcome, press start. You should be doing a much better job than this, but I'm just doing this as an example. And I'm going to um, make a new sprite called Game Over. Okay, so we've got three of them. Of course, anytime we start the game, we'd like to start with this one, background two. And in fact, I'll call this Welcome, and I'll call this one Game Over. And I'll call this one Desert. I don't even know if that's what it was. It wasn't. Well, not really Desert. But um, so anytime I start the game, I want to start with the costume called Welcome. Here we go. I don't want the cat in there. I, actually, this kind of looks cool, but I don't want the cat in there until the game begins. So right away, I know that I want this cat to be hidden. So I'll go down here in looks and I'll say hide. Here we go, we're good. Now the question is, um, how can I get this to switch to the, uh, the next phase? Maybe what I do is uh, I, can, I can set something up here that says anytime the space bar is pressed, I can broadcast a message that says start the game. Well, yeah, start game. Okay. In addition to that, I want to change the costume while well, the background to the desert. Okay, let's try this. So I press uh, all these letters on the keyboard, nothing happens, but I hit space, and now I'm in the game. Broadcasting start game doesn't mean anything right now, but what I'd like it to do is, whenever the cat hears that, it should show itself. So let's look under control. When I receive start game, show myself. There we go, space, there he is. Okay, so uh, now the question is how can I get him to uh, get the game to end? And maybe what I'll do is make it so that this cat, anytime the, um, the right key is pressed, he goes towards the right. And totally separate from that, I'm going to say anytime we uh, click start, he should be checking to see if he's at the edge. So what I'm trying to get at here is uh, I want the game to end when he gets over to the right edge of the screen. So what can I do to, to make this happen? I can broadcast a message that says the game is over. A million ways to do all of this, but this is one possibility. Back in the stage, I'd like the stage to be able to respond to uh, the game being over by just switching to the, the last screen. So when I receive game over, just switch to the game over background. It's nice how it almost fills this all out for us. So I hit space, I'm in the game, I hit the right arrow, I can get way over towards the right. 
something didn't work. So here's the cat. Um, ah, okay. So I should be checking. This is saying when the green flag is pressed, I should just check at that moment to see if it's touching the edge, which he never will be. He's going to be sitting over here. So um, if that's the case, broadcast game is over. Totally wrong. What I want is for throughout the, the duration of the game, I want to be checking that. That's what this whole when flag is clicked, do this thing forever. That's basically saying constantly throughout the game, be checking to see if we're touching the edge. Let's try it again. Oh, something's wrong. So we've got a couple problems. Now, it's actually broadcasting game over right away because he is touching the edge over here already uh, at the start of the game. So the problem there is that he really should start out in, in the right place. So let's just, anytime you start the game, put him in the middle of the screen. Try that again. So we've got the welcome screen. I hit space and there he is. And I will start him moving over towards the right. And at some point, this, uh, Okay, it, it recognized that he was touching the edge and it sent the game over message and the stage responded accordingly. Now, um, it would be nice if also if the cat disappeared. So that's one last thing we basically just say in addition to broadcasting game over, you um, should also hide yourself. That's one way to do it. So we'll try one more time, hit the space bar, he moves all the way over to the edge and when he does, we end up in the game over screen. Okay, another uh, option is that, you know, it's kind of abrupt, the game over screen appears so quickly. Maybe one thing I could do is just right before I switch to the game over screen, just put in a little delay. So I'll wait one second and we'll see how this works. Press the space bar, I'm in the game, and I win, and it waits a second before going to the background. Game over. Well, it should be. Okay, so the problem here is uh, the cat is touching the edge constantly. He's over there touching the edge. So what happens is he, we broadcast game over. He hides himself. He's still over here even though he's hidden. And the stage is responding to repeated game over, game over, game over. The cat is just broadcasting game over constantly because he's still touching the edge and I told him to do this forever. So touching the edge, touching the edge, game over. So the, the uh, stage never has a chance to get past the wait one second. So uh, it's like waiting one second, and while it's waiting a second, it's already received a new game over message. Easy way to solve this is to just, uh, after we hide him or before, whatever, we can just move his position uh, back to the beginning of the, where do we do that? Uh, back to the middle of the screen. So maybe we hide him first. Let's see how this works. Might have to move things around. This is constantly uh, trial and error for us. So disappears, he's in the middle of the screen even though we can't see him. So now it's able to say game over. 